The Chang'e Z-10ME, now Pakistan's latest inducted attack helicopter, is an ex-modernized evolution of China's Z-10 family, designed to give the Pakistan Army a dedicated, armored and networked armed helicopter, capable of precision strike and battlefield support. Pakistan's military publicly announced the induction during an ISPR-backed ceremony at Malton in early August 2025 with imagery and multiple open-source reports confirming at least the first airframes have been handed over. The airframe follows the Z10's medium-weight tandem cockpit layout with a narrow low-profile fuselage optimized for reduced frontal area. In survivability, applique armor and infrared shielding measures seen on export Mi variants. The Z1 OME also features structural and systems changes intended for export customers including revised intake filtration and altered exhaust geometry to reduce IR signature propulsion. On me, variance is described in manufacturer and analyst reporting as upgraded WZ9 series turboshafts, with further iterations like WZ9CG reported for improved hot and high performance, giving the type substantially more power than early Z10 batches. However, exact subvariant engine fits for Pakistan. S-batch are reported in Chinese sources and remain officially sparse. Performance figures circulating in defense publications and trade reporting plays. Top speed near 300 km per hour, approximately equals 160 to 170 knots. And operational ceilings above 6,000 meters, with a maximum takeoff weight around 7.2 tons. Reported combat radius and ferry ranges vary considerably by load and external fuel. And some ranges quoted in publicity materials should be treated as manufacturer or state media claims rather than independently verified measurements. Sensors and avionics are a major selling point of the Mi export model. Open sources and airshow briefings show a modern glass cockpit, helmet-mounted display compatibility, an improved electro-optical IR turret, data link and battlefield networking, enhanced IFF and reportedly more advanced electronic warfare and countermeasures, suites on later Mi subvariants. Again, certain specific sensor packages published in Chinese reports are not fully substantiated by third-party testing. Weapons loadout remains flexible and potent, a nose-mounted 23 to 30 mm cannon, depending on configuration, plus stub wings with multiple hardpoints for anti-tank guided missiles. Air to surface rockets, including guided rocket kits and precision guided munitions. Open reporting highlights integration with modern ATGMs for standoff anti armor work. Status Pakistan has started induction, and initial training maintenance arrangements appear underway. Production and export notes point to Chinese built deliveries under bilateral defense cooperation, with future numbers and local sustainment arrangements dependent on contract details and political factors. Strengths include focused anti-armor capability, modern avionics and networking for integrated battlefield roles, and an export package tailored to Pakistani operational needs. Limitations are typical for medium attack helicopters. Dependence on logistics and engine sustainment, vulnerability to sophisticated air defenses without suppression and some performance spec claims that remain manufacturer-sourced and partially unlikely roles for Pakistan's Z10ME include armored column interdiction, close air support, armed reconnaissance and precision strike in literal and high-altitude environments where the upgraded engines and sensors matter most. Short title for narration, Z10ME, Pakistan's new gunship.